language is important. It conveys the spirit of a thing. Your name is important. So my name, for example, is Zaneto, which means the darkness must cease. It's a command. So when my name is mispronounced, it changes the entire meaning because the language is tonal as well. So it's not Zaneto, it's Zaneto. You are commanding the darkness to stop. So there are several languages, and if you don't appreciate the value of that language, if you don't really understand it, you can't speak it properly, you can't express yourself in it properly. And as we move along, we just keep losing the value of our languages. And like many of the speakers before me said, what you end up is someone who speaks English, but not even proper English. So you have nothing in the end, which is a shame. We need to hold on to our languages, and the key is to speak them wherever we are. We're a multilingual society, which means that naturally we're good at languages. But somehow there is a block when it comes to English. So maybe the method with which we're teaching is what is creating this block. And perhaps going back to this policy that says we should really have an emphasis on speaking the mother tongue or the first language as we go through and maintain some kind of mainstream requirement regarding language as we go forward. And um, perhaps in some of the courses in the university, um, you know, this is not my, my, my role, but perhaps some of these minor courses that people do as part of their, their major courses in university should include Ghanaian language as an important option and uh, rather move some of the others down the, the ladder so that it encourages more people to learn a language at the higher level. Mm -hmm.